Hello everybody, welcome back to Words of Dad Cube. Jimmy! Right, a good story today. This is when I was back on the steel wall many, many moons ago. I think I told you before about the steel wall. I used to work in Spain and work winter times in London and go back to Spain and all that. It was, just, it was good money. It was hard work, but it was good money, yeah? Boys, when I first started there, they kind of, there was always kind of testing you. All the boys, all the old legs and all that, you know, the old boys that, that you've been on the steel all their lives and that, you know? <laughs> Always just testing you and see if you've got the bottle to do things, yeah? Well, I remember this one time, me and this case of Donix, I think it was Donix, something like that, I was just calling Don. Right, they said to us, right, we're, we're building this big, big, big building, and we're, oh, we're getting to the, to the top of the building now, but oh, we had to, to ride the steel, get on a bit of steel, a big Irish J's, the big old, big Irish J's like that, me one end, Don the other end, the crane used to come up, talk to the old crane driver, used to lift us up in the air, right up there, the outside of the building, about 200 foot, Still in this bit of metal, consider a bit of metal. So I thought, go on top of the stanchion, top of the old girdle like that, bosh it on top, put the old bodger in, nah, and bolt it, yeah? Easy peasy, let's go easy. So this time, like I said, this is the first time I'm doing it. So Don said, you right, gonna, have you got a bottle? I said, yeah, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. You know what I mean? That side was just floors, it was all loads and loads of floors, like I've been laid in or that. This side was London, like, you know? So he said, he said, go on, let's do it. So he got Texas, like the guys used to do the old crane. Up we go, Texas, so, we're up the other side of the building, keep it aside, push, push it out. Pushed out, got to the top of it, I was fine, I was great, you know, I mean, I could feel it underneath me, it was really, really good, the old metal, really fine. So we got to the top, it went on top of the starship, so you had to kind of lift above the, the starship, put it on top of it like that. So you put your, put your podger in, which is a big old bolt, big old thing, look at it, you put it in, it goes in the hole anyway, find the hole, yeah, so I got my, got the hole in, got my bolt in, that it out quite tight, or put it in like that. And don't let the other end of the steel about, I don't know, quite a way away that way, but can you release it here? Just release it for me, because so, I can't seem to get mine in. So I said, okay, like, green as fuck. Undone mine, took it out, and he went, hang on a second, he went, Poof, and he pushed the steel out, and put his bodger in, and then my, the steel I was sitting on, well, the steel was all sitting on, just come over London, just went, over London, like that, 300 foot up, or 200 foot up, whatever it was, <laughs> there it was, me on this bit of steel, and it was fucking shitting myself, it was really, you could just hear the wind going, <whistles> all the way over London, <laughs> looking down, <laughs> I did, did try to show that shit myself, you know what I mean, then he pulled it back in and gave me zips, and it came back in, I grabbed it in my feet, put the podger in, like, done the bolt up, put another bolt in, done all the bolts up and that, you know, then we, we got on top of the, the metal and just climbed down to the floor. We had to slide down the me metal to the bottom, you know, to the bottom of the floor. Just about a little, you know, 40 foot below. And Dunnick's the geezer come up like, he went, all right? I said, yeah, great. He said, you sure? I said, yeah, it was fine. He said, your bottle guy went, fucking right, he did. I said, really, my bottle was hanging on to the steel like that, you know what I mean? But he done this sort of thing just to just see if you've got the bottle, yeah? And the governor came up later on, this other geezer, I forget his name, on Alan. Come up and he went, he went, what's he like? I said, God, shit myself like it's good. He said, because you randomly shit yourself, we wouldn't have employed you. Because you've got to have that nerve, you've got to know when to when not to do things stupidly and when to do things stupidly. And I mean so take the risk, but don't take too much of the risk, yeah? So they test it all the time, and that was just one of them. I'll tell you a few more stories of the still later on. <laughs> See you later. Bye!